Most of the questions from residents at the meeting dealt with crime, including a number of recent violent incidents involving large groups of teens. Tonight, Streeterville residents, their aldermen and police, discussing troubling trends ahead of a defining summer. Oh, there's tremendous anxiety. That's why we have so many people here tonight. They want to hear what is the plan for the summer. This town hall, hosted by the Streeterville Organization of Active Residents, comes on the heels of multiple weekends in which neighbors say large gatherings of teens have led to fights and disturbances. Police say they're enforcing the city's 10 p.m. curfew for unaccompanied minors and have asked Streeterville business owners to take action. To enact an escort policy, which is Subjects that are under 18 years old will have to be there with a parent, otherwise they won't be able to enter into these venues. This policy has been in place now at uh, Water Tower Place for almost four years. It's fairly and evenly applied, which is important, um, but it, it's, it's made a difference, a noticeable uh, decline um, in the number of incidents. The ABC7 data team's safety tracker shows homicides are down from last year in near north neighborhoods, including Streeterville. But in the past 12 months, robberies, batteries, and burglaries are up compared to the average of the previous three years. I am concerned. I'm an older person, and we don't go out at night anymore. Call us, but when you're really dissatisfied with the macro level stuff, call the mayor. If you're not happy with crime stats in the neighborhood, let the mayor know. Officials say they've added improved lighting in the neighborhood, and with the help of federal dollars ahead of the Democratic National Convention, more license plate readers and police cameras have been installed downtown. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.